Hey guys, watch me hate my life while I explain what I'm doing. I'm on a mission to paint my basement floors a light tan color because I have a whole house downstairs and I can't even use it because it's just, you know, concrete. So I moved all the stuff out of there. Tack strips are such a pain in the butt. I know I should have worn glasses, but all I was doing was getting it prepped for Zach to come up behind me and get the nails out of the ground. Whoever installed this carpet and like double nailed it. So that's kind of a pain. So I'm hearing that the hardest part about painting your basement floors is the prep and the cleanup. There's gonna be a lot of cleaning to do. There's gonna be a lot of sanding to do to level out the floors. We were gonna do epoxy, but the floors aren't very level and it's flooded downstairs before, as you can see in the trim in some areas, it's like, you know, water damaged. But we always make it work. I'm gonna make it really cute down here. It's gonna take a while, but it'll be worth it in the end. So first thing, you gotta get those tack strips out of there. Uh, it will leave holes in the ground and you're gonna have to take cement and get it packed in those holes so that it's nice and smooth. Then you have to sand all of the bumps and all of the carpet, like the glue. Oh my gosh, that carpet glue is such a pain in the butt. So I had to scrape that as well. So next is gonna be measuring the square footage of my basement. I have no idea yet. I'm just, I know that this is gonna take a while, so I'm not gonna get ahead of myself and pick colors of paint and everything. I'm kind of planning on like a light tan. Of course, I want it the lightest color possible because I want it to pop, but I hear like, I don't know if it's the psychology of interior design, but white in a basement floor can screw everything up because it makes it look super dirty. And if you don't have the proper lighting, it, it just won't work. So a tan is where I'm at right now, but this basement is kind of like a man cave slash canning area. If you don't know, I like to preserve food. I also have a little gaming station that I made. It's kind of like a theater nook in the back of the basement. And how cool would it be to set up a couple of guest rooms and on really, really hot days during the summer, we can just come down here and cool off, take a nap. We are both very hot-blooded people, so we love winter and kind of hate the summer. I'll have to show you guys a little theater area, but we set up two TVs so that we can set up our PlayStations and have like a little gaming corner. There's a little outdated bathroom down here too with a small shower, and I really want to redo that as well, but again, I'm getting ahead of myself. Uh, pretty sure I cut myself there. I was just over it. <laughs> But yeah, two bedrooms to do, a couple of storage areas. This is gonna be the little master, quote unquote, master bedroom. Um, it's the largest bedroom and it has a really cool closet. I have scoured YouTube looking for different, you know, ways to do this. There are so many different opinions on how stuff works and how long it takes and everything. But I think I am uh, getting along pretty good. If not, you know, let me know.